Hello, my name is Samuel Scroggs, and in today's lesson, we are going to learn how to install and uninstall the Sony RX1 sensor for the Siastro Bramor PPX. Before beginning the installation process, make sure that you have gathered the collar with four 3M screws, the USB key, two rubber bands, the sensor seat, the Sony RX1 sensor, and the singular 3M screw that secures the data link cable. It is also necessary to set the focus of the sensor before installing it. As C Astral support states, the focus button, located on the camera front bottom, needs to be set to manual focus, MF. Then, you need to set the focus range by using the second ring, choose infinity range as you already did, and then fine tune the focus to infinity using the third ring in a correct way, which is, Turn the focus ring on the camera lens until the slider on the focus bar just reaches the right end near the infinity symbol displayed on the camera LCD screen. It is really important to only touch the right end of the focus bar with the slider and then keep the focus ring in that position. Turning the focus ring further after just reaching the right end of the focus bar will still keep the focus marker at the far right infinity end of the focus bar, but the images would then become slightly out of focus again. To begin installing the sensor, slide it into the seat. Make sure that the crescent indent on the bottom of the sensor seat is on the left side of the lens. Also, make sure that the lens cover is attached and tightened. Next, we will pick up our two rubber bands, attach them at the top center clip, and pull them down around the screen of the sensor to the bottom of the center clip. Here, we see the sensor bay of the Bramor. Some areas to note are the orientation of the sensor bay, the sensor mounting holes, the data link port, and the USB port. Before inserting the sensor into the sensor bay, make sure to note the metallic circle shown here, as well as the square piece shown here, that are both located on the left side of the sensor. These pieces will need to be fitted into the circular and square holes on the left side of the camera bay. The following clip shows the installation of the sensor. To flip the fuselage over, first slide one hand into the nose cone to support the sensor. Use the other hand to support underneath the fuselage and flip it over. During the collar attachment process, be sure to hold the sensor in place until at least four or five screws have been secured. Before attaching the collar, make sure that the screw holes in the fuselage line up with the ones on the camera seat. Next, align the screw holes on the collar with those on the fuselage. You can now begin seating the screws using the screwdriver. During this process, you may find it easier to attach the screws in a certain order, but this order may vary between aircraft. Make sure there are no visible gaps between the collar and the fuselage as depicted on the left. Once your collar looks like the picture on the right, check each screw to make sure they are securely fastened. Looking inside the sensor bay, you should now plug in the data link cable to its port. Make sure to screw in the hex screw that secures the data link cable using a hex key. Finally, always make sure that the USB key is installed as it holds the metadata for the Bramor. Now that assembly has been completed, we can move on to disassembling the sensor. The first step is to flip the Bramor upside down and take off the collar. When removing the screws on the collar, be sure to support the sensor so that it does not fall out and get damaged. The disassembly process does not require the screws to be taken out in any particular order. Now we can flip the Bramor back over. Now we will take the sensor and sensor seat out of the sensor bay. To do this, turn the sensor to the left and pull it out as displayed in the video on this slide. Finally, we will separate the sensor from the sensor seat by unclipping the rubber bands from the top middle and bottom middle of the sensor. You should now have a fully disassembled sensor. You should now be able to both assemble and disassemble the Sony RX-1R sensor for the Seastral Bramor PPX. For more training content, click on the link in the description. Thank you.